Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today we have a veteran deal ball player on point for today. This is the veteran boar from the Butcher's Guild and he's wielding big giant cleavers. What more could I ask for? He's on a very large base in brightly colored red resin. I believe this is to match up with the actual resin re-releases of a lot of the teams, and I'm going to take a wild guess that the Butchers are in red. Okay, no cards or anything like that. One thing i got to say, I actually have really enjoyed the quality of these Guild Ball resins. Um, they're just really nice. And I almost feel bad having to prime over the bright colors like this in order to give it a mediocre paint job. But it has to be done, you know? It just has to be done. So those cleavers on his back don't look as large as I had envisioned, or at least maybe the art just makes them look a little bit more imposing. And we'll have to figure out where all these knives are supposed to go, because I'm not 100% sure. Is the spot right there, maybe? I don't know. Maybe they hang underneath? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. A little bit of cleanup. There is a little bit of flash on these parts, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. And I gotta say, the overall figure itself, nice, big, and bulky. How big is he? Almost as tall, if not taller, than a bedazzled Stormcast. So, keep that in mind if you're looking for a cleaver wielding madman because that's what i am all right let me get it put together and i'll grab a few other models and we'll see how they all stack up all right we've got our bright and colorful whoa veteran boar all put together here and i gotta say i really like this i actually was showing my brother the other day and he thought it was actually plastic nope it's resin you guys all saw it here but it's really nice Especially when he's in focus and you can actually see all those details on him. I still find it odd that he is barefoot, but it's just a really nice looking kit. I really like this model and I'm absolutely certain I'm going to find a use for it in some kind of a game. And I know that was a big thing that Steamforge seemed to push on their website actually, was you know trying to use these in other fantasy games. But I wish they tried a little harder. This stuff was next to impossible to find stateside outside of ordering directly from steam forged either it was interesting because there was a huge push at first and i would see the early metal releases popping up in all sorts of local stores um i assuming it was just through the distribution deals that they struck that got them into all those places because it was t traditionally stores that i never saw sell anything outside of really gw so it was really impressive and then it just all but disappeared and then we started seeing cool stuff like this so yeah, uh, grabbing one of the plastic guys from the Blacksmith Skill. I believe it was Blacksmith, it sounds right. I have to go back. I know I put a review on it a long time ago. But you can see uh, he is a good size model, even with some of the other similarly based models, the big bruiser types. He's going to stand out, but he should. He's got big honking cleavers all over him. Why wouldn't you want him to stand out? So size-wise... He's kind of in between Stormcast and actual Games Workshop human proportions. You want to use him like a Goliath or some type of barbarian dude? I think absolutely. You can totally get away with something like that. Putting some Mantic models. Our Reaper human. Do I have any other human size models? Sure we do. A Conquest Knight. A Relic Blade human. So you can see he is big and impressive, but then again, he is supposed to be a veteran model. And I just, I, I like the sense of 3D depth with the aprons flowing one direction. You've got the cleavers on his back. Although I do wish they were a little bit larger looking like they are in the artwork. They look a lot bigger. That's just me being nitpicky. But overall, he is a big, impressive looking boss man type. And I could totally picture him being, you know, some kind of evil... NPC you have to defeat or a mini boss something like that I mean if you wanted to Spacify him up heck maybe run him with some corpse grinders, right? That might actually be an interesting fit. I hadn't thought of that until just now. Hmm Hmm 
You may not have all the elaborate flashy armor of them, but yeah. Grab a Primaris. Let's see, do we have any other human models from other companies laying around? I do. Probably a Frostgrave guy. Maybe you are. You're going to be one bad, impressive dude in a Frostgrave game. <laughs> yeah, when your Cleaver's the size of a North Star Mini, or a Dwarf even, I think you got problems there. But overall, i got to say I'm impressed. I wasn't super keen on the idea. I'm not big on the fantasy sports stuff, and even though I do own Blitzball and have a paint set that I've been meaning to actually get started on painting the core set, and I know there's a Season 2 coming to Barnes Nobles in the States in the near future, I just really was never into it, but with models like this, it definitely tempts me. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting some paint on this guy. And hopefully, if you're interested in models like these, do keep a lookout, because since Steamforged is ending the game, they are going to get to be a little more difficult to find, and I know they had some pretty rock-bottom prices on these guys as well. So do take a look at their webpage as well, which I'll put a link to down below. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.